So inna alhamdulillah <coughs> na ahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa sayyiati a'malina man yahdihillah fala mudilla la wa man yudlil fala hadiya la <coughs> wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika la wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu amma ba'd fa inna khairal hadith kitabullah wa khairal hadayi hadayi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam wa sharal umur muhdathatuha fa inna kullu muhdathatin bid'ah wa kullu bid'atin dalalah wa kullu dalalatin fi nar wa hayyikum bi tati islam wa hiya assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Our last lesson is about hadith al-mashhur. So we already discussed the definition of hadith mashhur, lughatan, and also the definition of hadith mashhur istilah. So I explain to you hadith mashhur means three narrators or more than three narrators narrated that hadith in each level of the isnad from the beginning of the isnad up to the end of the isnad if it is not reach the condition of hadith al mutawatir so this is the meaning of hadith al mashhur ma rawahu thalasa fa aksar fi kulli tabaqa ما لن يبلغ حد التواتر means is the hadith that three narrators or more than three narrators narrated it in each level of the isnad from the beginning of the isnad up to the end if it is not reach the condition of hadith al mutawatir so also we give the example of hadith al mashhur also we explain we have another a hadith mashhur that is not its meaning is not according to the definition of hadith mashhur hadith mashhur in hadith terminology so if we said hadith mashhur means gara istilahi means is the hadith that is well known well known to the people many people know that hadith so but if you look to the isnad of that hadith is not fulfilled the condition of hadith al mashhur but the hadith is well known to the people so this is called hadith mashhur gaira istilahi like i explain for you so this two this hadith al mashhur gara istilahi gara istilahi we already discussed it yes we already discussed it gara istilahi so we said the many types of hadith mashhur gara istilahi for example we have mashhur bayna ahlul hadith khasa min the hadith mashhur which is well known to the people of hadith particularly only the people of hadith this hadith is a mashhur to the scholars of hadith particularly the example of this hadith is kanat shahar hadith anas radiyallahu anhu قنات شهر ان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قنات شهرا بعد الركوع يدعو على رئيل وزكوان so this hadith is well known to the scholars of hadith particular so the meaning of the hadith prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to do qunut for a month he's doing dua against the trace of real and 
the tribes of Zakwan. So this hadith is authentic hadith. Also, this hadith is much more to the people of hadith, particularly. Then, another one, Mashhur Baina Ahlul Hadith Wa Gayrihim. Hadith Mashhur, which is well known to the scholars of hadith and also is well known to the common people. Not only the people of hadith know that hadith. Also, the common people also they already know that hadith. For example, that I give you hadith. Al-Muslim man salima muslimuna min lithanihi wa yadi. The real Muslim is the one who the remaining Muslim save from his tongue and his hand. The real Muslim he is the one who the remaining Muslims save from his tongue and his hand. I think this this thing is not inside the topic. It's just a question that you ask me. Yeah. And we don't have mm-hmm. uh, hadith much. Why were, why were, why were, because we started very, very, very short. Just an uh, example of hadith mashu. That's all. And then we go to the other questions. Okay. But when I indicate here, we already finish it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we discuss about the hadith mashur gar istilahi. So like I explain for you, you already know the meaning, the definition of hadith mashur. The hadith mashur is the hadith that three narrators narrated it in each level of the isnat from the beginning of to the end. If it is not reached the condition of motorate, so this is the meaning of hadith and mashur. So we give the example of hadith and mashur. Hadith: Inna Allah la yaqbidu ilman intezaan yantezuhu min al ibad, walakin yaqbidu al ilm bi qabd al ulama. Hatta iza lam yaqa aliman ittakhaz al nas ruusan johalan, fasalu faatu bi gari ilm fadlu wa adal. So this is the hadith mashur I explain for you how this hadith is mashur. Because if you look at the isnad of this hadith, each level of the isnad, three narrators narrated this hadith from the beginning up to the end. So this is the meaning of hadith in mashur according to hadith terminology. But Sometimes, if you read the books of some ulama, they will say for you, this hadith is mashhur. But if they say that they didn't meaning they did they didn't meaning that the meaning of hadith mashhur according to the hadith terminology means they mean the hadith mashhur logatan. Because mashhur logata means something that is well known to the people. Logatan, if we said mashhur logatan, means something that is well known to the people. So this is called mashhur. So some in logata in Arabic language. If we said mashhur in the meaning of mashhur in Arabic language, like I explained for you before, something that is well known to to the public, to the people. This is called mashur. So sometimes some are hadith, some of our hadith, the ulama call it hadith in mashur. But if you look the snout of that hadith, so that hadith 
is not hadith mashur according to the hadith terminology but the ulama call that hadith mashur because that hadith is well known to the public so this is called hadith mashur gaira istilahi means the hadith mashur that is well known to the public but is not fulfilled the condition of hadith al mashur according to the hadith terminology gaira istilahi Gaira istilahi means hadith in mashhur that is well known to the public but is not fulfilled the condition of hadith mashhur according to the hadith terminology. I hope you understand. Does it mean they are two different things? Yes, but if we discuss about the hadith in mashhur, we say this hadith is mashhur, we means hadith mashhur istilahi. Known to the uh, scholars of the uh, No. Uh, no. If we said Hadith al Mashur, just we say Hadith al Mashur, we mean that Hadith Mashur that fulfilled the condition of Hadith Mashur according to the Hadith terminology. Means the Hadith that, if we look at the snap of it, is three narrators narrated it from each level from the beginning up to the end. So this is the meaning of hadith mashur. But if we said hadith mashur gaira istilahi means is the hadith that is well known, is well known to to the everybody, but it's not fulfilled the condition of hadith mashur according to hadith terminology. I hope you understand. So this is called hadith mashur gaira istilahi gaira istilahi. Hadith Mashur Gera is still alive. Is he still under uh, Hadith Mashur? Uh, no, it's not under Hadith Mashur. Just no, uh, if always if we discuss about the Hadith Mashur, the ulama explain also Hadith Mashur Gera is still alive in order to differentiate it. In order to differentiate it. Because sometimes maybe in one book you, you can see somebody said Hadith Mashur, but actually it's not hadith mashur istilahi he means gaira istilahi so this hadith mashur gaira istilahi it has many types it has many types hadith mashur gaira istilahi it has many types but now i will try to mention for you six types of hadith mashhur gaira istilahi gaira istilahi gaira istilahi so the first types of hadith mashhur gaira istilahi means the hadith mashhur which is well known to the scholars of hadith only is well known to the scholar of hadith what is the meaning of that? Means each hadith scholar he know that hadith. Each hadith scholar he know that hadith. So it means this is hadith that is well known to the hadith scholars. Means that each scholar of hadith he know that hadith. So the example of that hadith is hadith Anas radiyallahu anhu. Hadith Anas radiyallahu anhu Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qanata shaharan Ba'da ruku Yad'u ala ri'lin Wa zakwan Yad'u ala ri'lin Wa zakwan Anas bin Malik Radiyallahu anhu Qal Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Qanata shaharan Ba'da ruku Yad'u ala ri'lin wa dhakwan So this hadith is mashhur to the hadith scholars To the hadith scholars Means that all the, all the ulama ul hadith They know that hadith So the meaning of the hadith Anas radiallahu anhu said that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do kunut 
shahran for a month ba'da ruku'i after he rise off from ruku yad'u ala ri'lin wa dhakwan he do dua against the tribe of ri'il and zakwan so he spend a month doing doing qunut after he finish the ruku he do he do dua against ri'il and zakwan so this hadith if you look this ri'il ri'il na ai Zakwan. Okay, if you look this hadith, this hadith is well known to the people of hadith. But if you look the isnad of this hadith, it's not hadith mashhur according to the hadith terminology. But all the ulama ul hadith, they know this hadith. All the ulama ul hadith, they know this hadith. So this is the reason why we call this hadith mashhur, but gaira istilahi. And also this mashur is only for the people of hadith, the ulama ul hadith. Then, number two, mashur bayna ahl al hadith wa gairihim. Means, is the hadith mashur is well known to the scholars of hadith and to the common people. Number two, the hadith that is well known to the scholars of hadith and to the common people means both ulama ul hadith and the common people they know that hadith they know that hadith the example of that hadith is hadith al muslim man salim al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi al muslim man salim al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi al muslim means the real muslim the real muslim he is the one who the remaining muslims save from his tongue and his hand the real muslim he is the one who the remaining muslim save from his tongue and his hand so this hadith is well known to the people of hadith also is well known to the common people so this is called but if you look to the isnad of this hadith it's not reach the conditions of the hadith mashhur al istilahi okay number three mashhur baina al fuqaha mashhur baina al fuqaha hadith this hadith mashhur is mashhur is well known to the fuqaha the scholars of fiqh the scholars of fiqh the scholars of fiqh all means all the scholars of fiqh they know that hadith all the scholars of fiqh they know that hadith is well known within the society of scholars of fiqh so that hadith uh, misalu had uh, misaluhu the example of that hadith abgadul halal ila allah at-talaq abgadul halal ila allah at-talaq the most hated halal to the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is divorce the most hated halal to the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is divorce is at-talaq is divorce okay. mm. is uh, sure. uh, the ulama had different opinion regarding this hadith some ulama said it's authentic and some ulama said it's da'if so this hadith is mashhur within the society of scholars of fiqh means that all the scholars of fiqh they know that hadith 
so it's well known it's much old. but if you look the isnad of that hadith if you look the isnad of that hadith it not fulfilled the condition of hadith much whole according to the hadith terminology okay then number four Mashhur Bain al Usuliyin. Mashhur Bain al Usuliyin means the Mashhur that is well known to the scholars of Usul Fiqh. Usul Fiqh. This, this, that, those hadith is well known within the society of the scholars of Usul Fiqh. Usul Fiqh. So the example of that hadith is hadith Rafa al Ummati al Khata wa Nisyan wa Mustukrihu alay wa Mustukrihu alay Rafa an Ummati al Khata wa Nisyan wa Mustukrihu alay Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this hadith said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already forgive for somebody who do something by mistake who do something by mistake how he do it he already forgot he already forgot or somebody force him to do it so if he do maybe somebody force you to do maasiya maybe somebody he said you have to do maasiya if you didn't do it he will kill you and you do that maasiya so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for already forgive you so this hadith is much more within the uh, society of uh, all scholars of usul al fiqh rafa an ummati al khata wa nisyan wa mastuqrihu alayhi now And this is the one. And the people that do something, they, they, they already forgot. Maybe they forgot it's haram, oh. and they do it. Or maybe he forgot. Today is in Ramadan. He forgot he eat the food. You know, the eating the food in Ramadan is haram. If somebody eat the food in the in the in the afternoon mid in mid day of ramadan so he comment a sin so somebody he forgot he eat so allah already forgive him because he didn't do he forgot you understand so this is the meaning or somebody impose you to do something that is haram he impose you to do it if you refuse to do it maybe he will kill you so if you do it allah forgive you because you didn't do it according to your yeah. will so somebody impose you to do it so this hadith also is authentic hadith but if you look the snad of the hadith it's not it's not fulfilled the condition of hadith in much more according to the hadith terminology but this hadith is much more means it's well known to the the scholars of usul al fiqh then mashhur baina nuhat but mashhur baina nuhat number five mashhur baina and nuhat mashhur baina and nuhat nuhat means mashhur that is well known to the scholars of arabic grammar nahaw the scholars of Arabic grammar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It means Nuhat. The scholars of Arabic grammar. So this hadith is well known to them. It's well known to them. But if you look the isnat of that hadith, it's not fulfilled the condition of hadith mashur according to the hadith terminology. So the example of that hadith is نعم العبد صحيبه لو لم يخف الله لم يعصي الناس 
good to the servant Suhaib. If he didn't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so he didn't do ma'asiyah. He didn't do ma'asiyah. So this hadith, yes, just the, the bring example of it in Nahaw. If they want to give some example of grammar, they bring this hadith. But this hadith, la asla la. La asla la means it's not the hadith. Yes, it's not the hadith. La asla la. It's not the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But they said the hadith. But really, if you look this hadith, it has not. It's not. You cannot find it from the Kutub Sunnah. You find it only in the Kutub Nah, only in Kutub Arabic grammar. So la asla la. Who this hadith is not the hadith. It has. It has not any relationship with hadith. But it's mashhur. If you read all the books of Nah, you can find the ulama of Nah during this hadith. It's mashhur to them. It's mashhur to them. Any example of the Nah? Eh? The example of the Nah. Mm-hmm. We didn't get the example of this hadith. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean, it's well known to them. No, what is the example? You go to the second okay. Go to the second Oh. Naim al Abd Suhaib Suhaib is the name of the first one. Naim al Abd Suhaib Law lay yahfilla lam yasi means good to the Suhaib or kindness, kindness to yes, to the Suhaib if he didn't obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also he didn't do ma'asiyah, he didn't do. Maasiya. If he didn't obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, also he didn't do ma'asiyah. He didn't do ma'asiyah. So this, they said is hadith, but this hadith is not hard. La asala laha, la asala lahu. It has not, is, the hadith is not hard. Any is not, and the hadith is not from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, because it is Just they give this hadith, no meaning of it because not as a, just it's the is just for grammar only. Oh. Just is for grammar only. Yes, it's not the hadith. Just the ulama grammar bring it in order to give the example for grammar. But they said the hadith because they don't have the knowledge of hadith. They expected this is hadith. So all you, you read the book of the scholars, Arabic scholars, uh, Arabic grammar, Arabic scholars, uh, scholars of Arabic grammar, they will see they bring that hadith in their books for the example of something in grammar. And they said this is hadith. But really, According to the said is hadith, we call it hadith because it's well known to them, but really it's not the hadith. Because the hadith, if you go and check this hadith in the books of Sunnah, you cannot find it. You cannot find it. You cannot find it. Abu Suhaib is a Sahabi. Suhaib. Yes, Suhaib Arumi is Sahabi. Yes, but we didn't know they mean that Suhaib. Sahabi or another Suhaib. Yes. We didn't. Yes, just a name. Like now, if you have a son, you can give him name Suhaib. Yes, we cannot as only if they take the hadith from the Kutub Sunnah, they give example of it in grammar. But if we didn't find the hadith from Kutub Sunnah, we cannot accept it. So, number six. Number six. Mashhur Baina Ama. 
mashhur baina ama the hadith that is well known to the to to the public all many people in the public know that hadith for example al ijlatu min ash shaitan al ijlatu min ash shaitan means to do something in holy is from shaitan is from shaitan is from shaitan i know all of you know that hadith to do some something in holy is this is from shaitan so this hadith is well known to the public but if you look there is not of that hadith is not fulfill the condition of mashhur terminology but this hadith imam tirmizi narrated it and imam tirmizi narrated the hadith and also after he narrated it he said this hadith is hasan but if you look there is not of the hadith you can find the hadith is daif you can find the hadith is the if you can find the hadith huh? he said uh, hadith hasan but some ulama said the hadith is not hasan is the weak hadith but this hadith is well known to the public is well known to the public so these are the six types of these are the six types of hadith uh, mashhur gaira istilahi hadith mashhur gaira istilahi hadith mashhur gaira istilahi okay hadith mashhur gaira istilahi so what is the hukum now what is the hukum of hadith mashhur gaira istilahi what is the hukum of hadith mashhur gaira istilahi so the hukum of hadith mashhur gaira istilahi some of it is the authentic hadith and some of it is hadith al hasan and some of it is weak hadith and some of it is hadith al kadhib is hadith al kadhib so if we said what is the hukum of mashhur gaira istilahi you cannot say you give a single hukum you have to look the hadith you have to look the hadith particularly each hadith individually so if somebody bring this hadith is mashhur gaira istilahi just look to the isnad if the hadith fulfill the condition of hadith sahih if this hadith fulfill the condition of hadith sahih we say the hadith is sahih if it fulfill the condition of hadith al hasan we say this hadith is hadith al hasan if it is not condi- fulfill the condition of hadith sahih or hadith al hasan we say this hadith is weak if we find somebody inside the isna of a hadith is kadhab we say this hadith is mawdu' this hadith is mawdu' for example from that hadith that we did if you look that hadith kanat shahara بعد الركوع يدعو على رئيل وزكوان this hadith is authentic hadith Buhari is the one who narrated it it's mashhur to the ulama ul hadith and also if you look the isnad of that hadith is authentic also if you look to the isnad al hadith al muslim man salim al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi also this hadith is authentic also this hadith is authentic also this hadith is authentic if you look the hadith abgadul halal ila allah at-talaq this hadith some ulama said is weak and some ulama said is hasan some ulama say is weak Yes. The second one also authentic. Yes. Okay. And the third one? Some ulama said is Hasan and some ulama said is weak. Some ulama say is Hasan and some ulama say is weak. <laughs> Lamba four, the hadith is Hasan. Yes, it's Hassan. A 
and number five number five hadith is modu hadith is modu and number six the hadith is weak the hadith is weak the hadith is weak number six the hadith is weak so if you look the hukum now is different we cannot generalize the hukum we have to look each hadith individually we have to look each hadith individually so true if you look the hadith you can give him the specific hukum of that hadith we cannot generalize the hukum to all the hadith mashur gare istilahi you have to look So, some ulama wrote many books. Some ulama wrote many books and combined in that books the Hadith al Mashur Gaira Istilahi. The Hadith al Mashur Gaira Istilahi means the Hadith that is well known to the public but is not fulfilled the condition of. Hadith mashur according to the hadith terminology, according to the hadith terminology. Some ulama source of that hadith that is well known to the public, they combine it in book. So if you want to check about the examples of hadith mashur gera istilahi, so if you go there, if you go, if you go there in that books, you can see many, many of it. You can see many, many of it. According among I I mentioned for you only three books. I mentioned for you only three books. One, Al Maqasid al Hasana, Fi Bayan Al Maqasid al Hasana, Al Maqasid al Hasana, Fi Bayan Kathir min al Ahadis al Mushtahira al al Asina, al 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 Sina, al 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 Sina, Al Maqasid al Hasana, Fi Bayan Kathir min al Ahadis. المشتهرة على السنة على السنة المقاصد الحسنة المقاصد الحسنة في بيان في بيان كثير في بيان كثير من الأحاديث من الأحاديث المشتهرة 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 على السنة على السنة. The author of this book is Imam Asakawi. Imam Asakawi. Asakawi na. So this book, I think, is available in the library of UIA. They read this book for people. Okay, I didn't know, but uh, but this Imam Sahih we just combine this book in order to explain for you this this hadith is well known. So not all the hadith that inside is authentic. Most of it is not authentic. So I I wonder how they can read this book to just Imam Sahih we wrote this book in order. To explain to the people the hadith that is well known to the people, to this public. So some of that hadith is more do, and some of it is very very weak, and you can find some few of them authentic. So for example, if you can, uh, your sister she didn't come. If she can, I will request from her to. Borrow this book from uh, from uh, uh, UI library. She bring it here. I will often I read for you some hadith in order to show you. Yes, maybe you can inform her if she will come next week. She borrow uh, the book from the the UI library. And you have a few more books of this kind of uh, 
I two till he, I said I will mention for you till he, just I mention one. Number two, Kashful Khafa. Kashful Khafa. Kashful Khafa. Wamazilul Ilbas. Wamazilul Ilbas. Wamazil Al Ilbas. Wamazil Al Ilbas. Ammash Tahara. Ammash Tahara. Ammash Tahara. Min Al Ahadith. Min Al Ahadith. Min Al Ahadith. Allah. Al Sinatin Nas. Allah. Al Sinatin Nas. كشف الخفاء ومزيل الإلباس ومزيل الإلباس أما اشتهر أما اشتهر من الأحاديث أما اشتهر من الأحاديث على ألسنة الناس على ألسنة الناس على ألسنة الناس The author of this book is Ismail al al ajaluni al ajaluni al aja ismail al aja ajluni ajluni naam ajluni so this is the author of this book. So also in this book, this uh, this author he tried to combine the hadith that is mushtahira, well known to the public, but I not uh, I didn't know if it's available in UI library. But the first one is available. The first one is available. So number three. تمييز الطيب تمييز الطيب تمييز الطيب تمييز الطيب تمييز الطيب من الخبيث من الخبيث تمييز الطيب من الخبيث من الخبيث فيما يدور على السنة الناس فيما يدور على ألسنة الناس فيما يدور على ألسنة الناس من الحديث من الحديث تمييز الطيب من الخبيث تمييز الطيب من الخبيث فيما يدور على ألسنة الناس من الحديث من الحديث So the author of this book is Abdurrahman bin Ali Al-Shaybani Abdurrahman bin Ali Al-Shaybani Abdurrahman bin Ali Al-Shaybani Abdurrahman bin Ali Al-Shaybani So this is the author of this book Abdurrahman bin Ali Al-Shaybani Abdurrahman bin Ali Al-Shaybani so these are the three books that the ulama saw about. The ulama wrote many books, but only I mentioned for you three. So if it's possible, your sister can borrow for us this in next week. I will explain, read some ahadis in order to see how is it, how the uh, some of it is hadith model. And some of it is very, very weak. Al Maqasid al Hasana fi Bayani Kathir min al Ahadis al Mushtahira ala al Al Sina li Sakhawi li. In the book, they didn't jot down the category whether it is authentic or not. Yes, I will, yes, just put. But I'll explain for you. Okay. Uh, 
this Iha Ulumudi. Like I explained for you, Iha Ulumudi, when the Imam Ghazali Rahimahullah he wrote that book, he didn't start a second knowledge of Hadith. He didn't depreciate the authentic Hadith and weak Hadith. Because at that time, he didn't start learning the Hadith like what the Ulama Ul Hadith done. So for this reason, in the Uyya Ulumuddin, you can find many hadiths that is very, very weak. Um, some of it is not only weak, it's hadith al But also you can find from it some hadiths that are authentic hadiths. So for this, this is the reason why Imam al-Iraqi, Hafiz al-Iraqi, Rahimahullah, because he know this book, Uyya Ulumuddin, Many people love the book and many people read it and he know that many hadith that Imam Ghazali he mentioned in his book many of it is weak and many of it is some of it is model so for this reason he try to differentiate between authentic hadith that the Imam Ghazali mentioned in his book and Authentic in order to help in the readers because the Kitab Iha Ulumudi is is accepted today, yes, is yes, mashur, it's mashur, it's accepted with the many people read it. So, if you didn't have the knowledge of hadith, so you can read the hadith that is modu or very weak, you apply in your ibadah. This is the mushkila. So, for this reason, happy Zul Iraq, Irahimahullah. Hafiz al-Iraqi, Ad-Rahim al-Iraqi, he tried to differentiate between the ahadith that is authentic in Iha Ulumuddi and the ahadith that is not authentic. So, yes, uh, it's already. This one he passed away six, since 500 years or 600 years ago. The book is there here. So this is my advice for everybody who you want to read Iha Ulumuddin. It's better to buy Iha Ulumuddin together with the book of Iraqi. Is not eh? the topic of the book right here. It's a hadith Iha Ulumuddin. So also this one is available in UIA. Is available. Yes. So if you can inform your sister also to bring for us these two books. Yes. Until I show for you how the Iraqi he differentiates the hadith, the hadith that is authentic from here Ulumuddin and the hadith that is not authentic. Because there are so many people who get so sensitive when people say that there are why they didn't accept? Because this is knowledge. Explain the way of you take the hadith, just we put it how the ulama will hadith. They explain. So this is not something to get a worry or something. No, because Imam Ghazali he didn't say that all the hadith that he narrated in his book is authentic. He didn't mention it. He didn't mention it. So for this reason. It's better, uh, uh, and like I explained, in the end of the life of Imam Ghazali, he started uh, learning hadith deeply, but he passed away. Even his students said, he said that he passed away the Sahih al-Bukhari on his chance. And Imam Ghazali, is very gifted. So this is the reason why the ulama say that if he started learning the hadith since the beginning, he will be very expert in hadith. But he didn't start it learning because he's very gifted. Anything, like if you read his terjama, his biography, the ulama say that anything that Imam Ghazali focusing on it, so he will know it very well. He will be very expert on it. So but the hadith, he didn't learn it from the beginning of his life. He started 
in the end of his life. So this is the reason why his students say that if he continue learning hadith when he started it before he passed out, he would be the expert in the hadith. Okay. Yes, because he. Yes, because he's a, a he's very yes yeah, philosophy and he wrote books on usul al fiqh and he wrote many books in usul al fiqh. He know it very well. He's very expert in usul al fiqh because he's a he know the falsafa. He know the. Yes. The way he explained it. Huh? Yes, he used to explain according to the Ilm al Kalam. Because he's very expert in falsafa. He's very expert in falsafa. So he used to explain according to the Ilm al Kalam. Yes. It's so very nice to listen the way he says it. It's so soothing and so, yes, so be, like forcing. He, because he's very expert in falsafa. So this is the reason why he used that way to explain the Aqidah. Mm-hmm. Yes, you understand me? Yeah, yeah. There is also the reason why most of the readers of Iyya Ulu refuse to take it as a weak hadith. Um, most of it are weak hadith. Yes. Because they see the personality of that person. Yes, he say he's a alim, he have the knowledge, but he's not a masum. Mm-hmm. He's not a masum, only prophet. Mm-hmm. Only Prophet is Masu. So we can read his book, the good things we take. The thing that he make a mistake, we leave it. Because when he explained about Asla also, Asla of uh, the Prophet, yes, yes. you see that the, the hadith that he quoted, it looks as though it is so nice. Yes, <laughs> so yes, yes. So yeah. authentic because mm. his description of, about the Prophet is. <laughs> yes, no, not only him, some ulama also wrote the book before him that mentioned the halak of the prophet mm-hmm. and the physical appearance of the prophet, like Imam Tirmizi in Kitab Shama'il, Shama'il Muhammadiyah. Not all of it is authentic. Not all, most majority of it is authentic. So not only him, he read, yes. Also, ulama before him, they wrote the books of Akhlaq of the Prophet. So, but the thing that we said, he is not a Masum. We didn't reject his book at all. We said, don't benefit from his book. And we cannot reject his knowledge. Because he is a alim. He have the knowledge. But also, we didn't say that all the things that he mentioned, and here, Ulumuddin is 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 sahih. We cannot say that. We can we we are not for the people that we rejected his all the book, and we cannot accept all everything. So the thing that is right from the book we take. The thing that is not right from the book we leave it, because it's not a masu. It's not complete. Only Prophet Salah Sama complete hundred percent. So any person who read a book you can find a mistake inside because he's a human being. So the thing that he the right in here Ulumuddin, we take it. And the thing that is not right, we leave it. So if he bring the hadith that the ulama al hadith say that hadith is modo, we have to accept to leave that hadith. Because the ulama say that the ulama before he And if you leave, look that hadith, you can find that hadith in the kutub. Hadith in Mawduat. So we cannot say all the hadith that the Ghazali mentioned in his book is authentic. No. Because even himself, he didn't say for you, all the hadith that I mentioned in my book is authentic. So this is very important to get that Takhalij al-Hadith al-Iha ul-Mudin hafiz al-Iraqi. It will help you. It will help you. So I think we can stop here because
another topic is hadith al qudsi hadith al qudsi it uh, we stop here if you have some uh, questions inshallah